1370 WOCA. I'm convinced that God made segments like this just so we could have some levity when you have all the other hard news that you have to deliver. It's just so good to have Anthony James in the studio every Wednesday. He's here right now. He's the voice of travel. He has a beautiful hotel called Homewood Suites by Hilton Ocala at Heathrow. Such a long name, but it's a beautiful place. We went there yesterday. We went to see you yesterday. I did. Yes, and I got did. your got- card on my desk this morning when I came in. <laughs> I'm like, who was in my office? And then <laughs> I saw that. Office. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they put this in here. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was awesome. We're so available. We can talk about uh, traveling. So, so you know, the, the two theme parks are, are battling each other. Yes. Like, like uh, Fast and Furious is now going to be a new land in Universal. Mm-hmm. Disney is going to have a new uh, Toy Story land and a new... Star Wars land so uh, th- this benefits all of us doesn't it As, if you're a theme park lover if you're a theme park lover because it means they're getting yeah, bigger and probably more expensive but yeah bigger more expensive there's more things to do now when you go to Orlando which is which is okay but I like it because now that pushes more things people want to move uh, businesses and companies or or just people that want quiet areas. Right, now right. they want to move closer out of Orlando, and that's fine. Move them right to Marion County. That's what I like. Do you, do you know, we were talking this morning about why, why do so many tourists come to Florida? Mm-hmm. And uh, we were ar- debating a little bit, in a friendly debate, right. that it's, it's not Disney. It's not Universal. I mean, it is now. Mm-hmm. But the reason Disney came here is because people were coming here before there was anything more than the beaches. Right. I think the beaches is probably the main reason people come here. Yeah. And that's why it's so tough to get in the summertime and actually any time of the year to get anything oceanfront. Anything oceanfront, a hotel on the ocean, it is so tough to get something, you know, cheap or, or you know, moderately priced because everybody wants to do it. It's the demand to be on the oceanfront is so huge. Yeah, yeah, it's So yeah. huge. But you have hotels out there that have no uh, brands behind them, like a Hilton or a Marriott, that is just the, the Anthony James Inn. That is across the street, and they, but because they're on the beach or right near that, they can charge up to upwards of 150, 200, 250 bucks a night because wow. no everybody comes. They don't care too much about the room. Mm-hmm. It's all about being close to the beach to just go to the beach and do whatever they want to do. And there, there are in Daytona, as you know, there are some of the big high rise hotels right on the beach, yeah. and then right across the street. Some of those little mom and pop hotels like you're talking about. Right. So they make a lot of money, huh? They do. They make a ton of money. And you wouldn't think it. I mean, people were like, oh, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, if, like if you're purchasing a hotel, those are some of the best ones to look at because you don't have to put a whole lot of money into it because people are going to come. They're going to come. And now they're coming up with the, with the condo hotels, which is an extremely good idea because you not only have a hotel, but above it you have residences. So people can either rent out the residences or live Ooh. in the residences and then stay in the hotel. Oh, so really? now you have more than one well, that must be of an revenue coming in. Annoying uh, for the <laughs> residents because they got to <laughs> share the pool with tourists. They got to share the pool with tour- tourists, <laughs> yeah. but they always got a place on the beach. And plus, they can rent it out and they can make their own income as well. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to deliver you a card yesterday. Yeah. We were marketing ourselves, our musical act right. that we have. But anyway, so we went to another hotel and, and the lady behind the counter was literally taking an order for uh, a guest who was going to stay from, uh, was it March 1st? Or no, well, January 1st. January, well, 1st. January 1st to March 31st. Yeah. Yes. The entire three, three months, months she yes. was going to be in that one room. Absolutely. Do you have that a lot? All the time. Really? Yep. And, and, and this is why, because it's horse season. And so a lot of people come here and they check oh. in and they don't, they don't check out. So we have a lot of inventory. Like I have, my hotel is about 100 rooms. I have about 20, 25 rooms that are already sold for that amount of time. For hits. For hits. Mm-hmm. So it's already done. Is that one hits it? Okay. See, I didn't even, I, I always find out about that stuff after the yeah. fact. Do you want to take a phone call? Sure. Good morning. You're on the air with Anthony James. <clears throat> yes. Uh, good morning, Mr. James. Morning. 
Uh, Shane, if you got uh, company coming down from up north and uh, they're staying at uh, at O'Kell, uh that you you uh, represent here in town in Ocala, but they want to go to the attractions, uh, Disney World and stuff in Orlando, uh, is there shuttle service to there? And if they if there isn't, uh, would your hotel or motels up here uh, have like a, a, a special uh, rates for a rental car, some kind of a deal on that? The very good question. No, no, no hotel here in Marion County has a shuttle service, but we do. We can contract with different people to take you there. Now, it doesn't happen a lot because it, the the expense would be way too much. It's cheaper. Just it's really cheaper to go and get a car and drive down to Orlando and then come back the same day than it would be for somebody to actually take you. So bring, having a shuttle company do that, it's good, like I said, because of the gas and the insurance and all that stuff, is really expensive. So I would suggest renting a car to do that. And, and every any hotel can, can give you uh, a rental car company that they work with, or you might find a company, uh, there are shuttle people that will shuttle you down there. But if you're looking for the best way and the most the most economic way it wouldn't be to take a shuttle down there makes sense i, I know i know with uh, with airlines sometimes you can get a a, a special price for a rental car i was mm -hmm. just wondering if it would be like with the, the hotel and hotels would have a, a special about pretty much the same way well what you do is you want to go on a site like if, if you're if you're going to book a hotel here in ocala or in orlando what you want to do is go on a site like expedia or, or travelocity and you want to put in your dates and you want to check hotel and then check on rental car and then it'll give you a package you can get the rental car you can get idea. the hotel for this amount of money for this amount of days right. that's Th the best way to do it thank you for the call you have another phone call good morning you're on the air with anthony james yes uh good morning good morning yes and morning. uh many of the theme parks uh uh, uh work with uh triple a uh which mm -hmm. uh provides discount tickets to the theme parks and also triple a has uh, discounts uh, on rental cars. Absolutely. AAA is a great yeah, site to go thing. through. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and I have now I been initiated to the Expedia experience. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> great deal. It's an experience. It's, 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 it's an experience, uh, but it's it's you can find great deals. Like I said, everybody takes their unused inventory, put it there. They mix it all up and then they boom it goes out but how do you know it's unused inventory three months in advance it's just because of experience experience you we as, as a hotelier and as anybody you could you know your data you have data from years and years and years and Tom tells you during this time for the last three years this is how many rooms you sold this is why or, or last year was an anomaly you had um, a hundred rooms, or you had this come through this city. Right, so, right. but next year they're not going to have it like that. So, what you do is you might put in a few rooms, or a few cars, or a few flights in that, and just try to get those sold, and then you build on that. Think of think of a, a glass with rock. Do you fill some of them with dirt? Do you fill some of them with rock? And then until, so you basically want to layer your business into your hotel or layer your business to where you have a base and then you build off of that. Do you know, I was staying in a hotel in Miami in Key Biscayne, I think it was, right? And oh, the Double Tree Biscayne Bay? You know, I don't remember. It was a wedding I went to. Okay. And the, the hotel next door mm -hmm. had one occupant in it. It was President Bush. Have yes. you ever had that happen where the whole the hotel was empty, the entire building was empty except for the president? Actually, no. But I did uh, when I uh, when I was at the uh, uh, when I worked in Memphis. Uh, I had a, the DoubleTree downtown Memphis. Well, we used to have NBA teams that that stayed there to right. play the Memphis Grizzlies. Well, I had one particular team that was in, but that one particular superstar um, actually rented off the entire floor, wow. and it was just them his his uh, friends and some uh, uh, extras that were there and but they rented off the entire floor mm -hmm. so you 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 so had that so it was it like like I've never been to the ninth floor of the Hilton 
Mm-hmm. They, they say it's a special floor. In the first, <coughs> so two questions in one. Is sure. it? And do you have one at your or a special right. room? Uh, I believe this Hilton does that. I, I haven't been there either. But that's what's called the uh, executive floor, which you basically, you're, uh, if you're a uh, honors member or whatever your brand has, like, platinum member or whatever those are for the for those people that's the special floor that they go that there's continental breakfast on it there's a concierge there those are for people that are so loyal to the brand that they get to upgrade to that floor loyal oh my god loyal. See, I, I loyal. thought the word rich was going to come out of your mouth no <laughs> no 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 uh not they were not big loyal. sweets yeah they yeah they yeah. do and but <laughs> Most of your full service hotels have those. So, do you have any like, rooms like that? Like- I, I don't, because we're limited service. So, okay. and plus, all of our rooms are suites. So mm-hmm. we can't. Really have you ever, actually have do you ever that. seen? Uh, and you probably you from that this, the area of the Poconos, right? Where, where people, yeah, didn't didn't you come from that general area? I had a hotel. Yeah, I had a hotels up there near there. Yeah. So they have swimming pools in the rooms and some. Of the, like, oh yeah, that's awesome. There's there's ones that, that are like like martini glasses. Oh. They're, like, they're actually a bath. But yeah. They're in, but they're a martini glass. Or you have oh, one I that's shaped like there. an apple, a heart. Uh huh. You have that bath. Oh yeah, you gotta go to the Poconos. Oh, I got to go there just for Yes, the, just I just want to be a spectator. Here. I don't want to cool. take a bath in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to pay a ticket and get in yeah. and watch. Oh, it's awesome. When you go up there into the Poconos and it's winter and you're looking outside, but you're actually taking a bath in a martini glass. It's awesome. But is are there sw- is swimming cool. pools in the rooms or small yeah. swimming pools? Small swimming pools, yeah, yeah. And so huge, and, or so huge, not a bathtub easy. and it's not a hot tub. It's, it's actually a small swimming pool. Mm-hmm. Wow. Right in the floor. That is cool. Yeah. I got to go. Gorgeous up there. Do one of those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to. You have to. Uh, Do you, can people hold uh, uh, catered events there? At, mm-hmm. at your place, like if you're having a graduation party or a wedding reception? Yes, we have our meeting room we do that for. You can actually bring your own caterer in there. A lot of, uh, some hotels don't allow you to do that. And that's because they serve the food and beverage. Mm-hmm. But like uh, my hotel, you can have a wedding there. or You have the, you can get your own food catered in. Oh, okay. That helps out on the, on the expense as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the time of year when uh, everybody's starting to shift gears because the summer is winding down. Yes. And, and uh, so is the same thing noticeable in the hotel industry? It is. You, you, it just depends on where you are. If you're in New York City, then it, you got business all the time. Things are cranking up. Yeah. So here, here in Ocala, you, it, it's different. Um, in Miami, it's going to be different. It just depends on where you are in the season that you, and how many people travel there. So, but your guests change. So where's your, what's your bucket list uh, destination? You know, I want to go to every single NFL uh, oh, stadium. Yes, you told me this once before. But, I, but the, I'm a huge Dallas Cowboy fan, huge Dallas Cowboy fan. But there's one place that I want to go. I want to go to Lambeau Field. Mm-hmm. I want to go when it's five below zero. Yes. I want to go, and, you know, the, the beer brats and all that stuff. You'll love I want to witness it during that because right, that's, that's cool. the only time to do it. Mm-hmm. That's so, right. Are you familiar with this thing that the Special Olympics is doing, all these NFL players? Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm involved with oh, that. That's yeah. right. That's, yeah. Oh, that's right. You're in the picture. Yeah. Well, mate, <laughs> of course you know. <laughs> but, did you see, but did you see the list of names? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, this is going to be such an exciting time. This is unbelievable. People got to come out and, and witness this and have fun. We, they're, they're doing such a good job with, with these kids. And I mean, I just I wish I could do more, but it just it's just awesome. So You're doing yeah, a you're lot. Doing a are you lot, kidding me? Yeah. You give us a place to meet. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you, Anthony. That, that was fun. Yeah. Fun thank show. Thank you. All right, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. Fox News Alert. I'm Pam Puso. They were murdered doing their job. A reporter and a photojournalist shot to death while interviewing a woman on live television. You hear him fire 